In Moho, you can use meshes to animate using triangles or quads. And by default, when you create a smart warp mesh, it's going to use triangles. So as an example, with this newspaper image, if I come up here to draw and then choose create mesh layer, and let's just come over here to the newspaper and I'm going to reduce the opacity here. You can see that this mesh is drawing out these different triangles. So you have this point going down here, over here and up. You have this one going up, over and down. Everything is three points. And when you go in and start to manipulate this image or the warp for the image, you'll be using those triangles to do so, which can be useful in a variety of ways. But sometimes you want a little bit more rigid control or perhaps you want to create a perspective effect or something along those lines. That's where quads comes in handy. Now, in order to create quad meshes, we have to manually set it up. So we're going to come over here to this warp layer that we just made and remove it. Now we're going to need a vector layer to create the mesh. So I'll come down here to layer one. I can rename it to mesh. And we're going to go over here to the draw shape tool. Now you could go in and use a rectangle and manually put in your points if you wish. But here we're just going to use the grid tool. I'll set this to a horizontal of one and a vertical of two. I'm going to want to change the horizontal to two and the vertical to one. Now I'm just going to come in and draw this out and you'll see that we have a rectangle with essentially a line going through it in the middle. And I'm going to match up that line going through the middle with the middle of the newspaper and release. Now the last step for the mesh is to fill in each individual rectangle. So I'm going to come over here with the paint bucket tool and I have my light blue fill selected. I can click once to create that side and then click again to create the other side. And if I hide this, you can see that this is what it currently looks like. Now I'm going to double click on the newspaper, go to image, go to smart warp layer and then choose mesh from the list and click OK. Now let's go to, let's say frame 12 and I can grab the mesh for this and we can start to move things around and manipulate. So as you can see, because of how this is set up, I'm easily able to come in here and just squish this and create a perspective of sorts. Perhaps the newspaper is open right now in front of us. Well, we could come in here and create that effect pretty easily. Or maybe you want the opposite to occur. Maybe you want this to look like it's going in the background and this is open just like this. We could go in and adjust that and make it work. And as you can see, it's very easy to adjust the perspective of your objects with a quad mesh. And it's pretty cool. Now, you can go a little bit further with this. So if I come back here, I'm just gonna remove these frames. And in fact, I'm gonna remove the mesh entirely. And let's create a new vector on frame zero. And I'm just going to come over here to that draw shape tool once again. And let's do vertical two and horizontal two. And now we're going to come in like this. And we'll just place the mesh right there. And then we wanna come in and fill in now each of these four quadrants. So one, two, three, and four. And I'll place the newspaper above that layer. Double click on the newspaper, go to image, and then choose the new vector as your warp and click okay. So now if we come in here, we now have even more flexibility. So we have this center piece and now maybe we can fold it, you know, this way as well, in addition to the other way. So you could have even more control with this if you wanted to. And as you can see, it looks pretty cool how you can come in here and just manipulate this just like that. And you can go beyond just four as well. So if we went back here, I removed this mesh. I'm just going to do a new vector once again. And let's just grab the grid. We go, let's say 10 and 10 and you can draw this out. And from here, you would have to go through and color in each of those squares. But once you get to that point, you could have all of these manipulate the paper if you wish. 
So when it comes to creating perspective with meshes, or really any object inside of Moho, be sure to keep your quad meshes in mind. 